welcome back to our episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, we are back. The horde is coming, and I am hungry, lads. Where is my food? Get in my belly, you ham. Uh, we do need to probably go and invest in some food. And actually, probably a great reason to start up the farm as soon as we are done surviving this horde. Speaking of surviving this horde, where is Kalashnikov 47? We need to have fun time with very fun rifle comrades. Little bit shotgun never hurt anyone either. Do we have... Where is big bullets? Where are big... There are big bullets. Boys and girls, I hope you are ready for a little bit of fun. Because there will be more than a little bit. There will be a lot of bit. Oh, God. I did not get proper hydration. This is not good. Where are the zombies coming? I'm ready to look at all... Of there they are. Oh, look at them fall into my marvelous traps. <laughs> Yeah, Dingus says, I should invest in some spotlights at some point. But for now, all we get to see is amazingness up from our perch. Mm -mm -mm. That right there is traps doing their job properly. Now, excuse me while I try to not die coming down this. Uh, why don't we go ahead and hop on the walls, try to have a bit of fun with that. Hopefully not manage to accidentally electrocute ourselves. Uh, all of these things are on. Yeah, all of them are on. Some people were saying I was, like, low on power. I... Really? I don't... I don't know. I never thought I was low on power because I have a ton of stuff coming from the generator bank. I can show you guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's not a good noise. Oh, God. We got a lot of them over there. The defenses are a little bit weaker on this side. I'm more prepared to uh, unload some of my ammo over here. Hello, lads. Seem to be struggling, are ya? Oh, let me reload my Kalashnikov before I can help you out. I'm hearing some primal screams out here, though, so that's not good. Oh, my God. I love the AK. It's just such a marvelous gun. I can't wait to loot all these dudes, too. That's also why I'm trying to kill some of them away from the wall so all of their bodies don't just uh, stack up. But, dude, look at this, man. This, this gun is a very powerful gun if I can learn how to aim it. Big if. I know. But holy hell, dude, something about- I, I don't yet to shoot this thing often anymore. Something about shooting the AK in seven days to die. The sound, the feel of it, it's just a satisfying thing. I do hear a lot of things being broken, so, uh, yeah. Max output 239. Wish one of y'all crazy people telling me I don't have enough energy for this. I definitely have enough energy for this auto turret and stuff, all right? We should easily- like, why- why are you not on? Why- why you not on? Why you not on? Fix this. Fix your on this turret. You know what I can do? Honestly, I'm going to, uh, disconnect that. And I'm gonna hook you back up to this solar bank over here. Well, that's, uh... Is it on now? Can you shoot things? Or is it because I'm, like, wiring it? Oh, dear God, that's a lot of slicing. Am I wiring you the wrong way? I don't know. You know what? I'll deal with that after we're done having fun shooting bullets and watching these dudes absolutely get muddied on our traps. I wish we could upgrade the spikes a little bit, but I'm more than happy with what and how it went down. Also, we gotta make sure that not our traps do all the work. Because remember, we're trying to get some levels and stuff too, and no better way than shotgun rain to do exactly that diggery do. Death to you. So getting some kills is gonna be a great way of making sure. Oh my god, I shot that dude's arm off. That we can level up. I'm hoping. Oh, there goes a head. Oh god, no, no, no. Don't, don't go piling onto other people's bodies. That's not fair. Dude, it's just something about this. They, they really are kind of munching through my traps. So maybe I should convince them to uh, come over here where the traps are a little bit more plentiful. Nah, they're pretty, uh, they really want to try and parkour their way throughout this. Well, that's good for you guys, but this horde, they ain't surviving this base. This is the best base I have ever engineered. Now, we are going to have to replenish the wooden traps, obviously, but that's a small price to pay for the amount of pain we're bringing to all of these dudes. Look at the dead bodies spanning miles. Well, more like feet, but metaphorical miles. It's absolutely amazing. Speaking of that, uh, excuse moi, I am a little bit of a thirsty lad. I need to consume my yucca juice. I am a thirsty one, and I hear the people getting the sliced up. Sucks to be you. Should have came after, uh, you, sh you should have went after Trader Joe. Like, you guys have seen his base. He's got less traps than I do. And also way less mastery of the amazing thing known as shotgun rain. 
Look at that, dude. Even leveling up our shotgun rain levels. That's amazing. Nothing as amazing as the power of electricity, though. These blades. This is where the magic happens. Look at that, dude. He's running away. Well, actually, no. He's just running towards more pain, death, and destruction. I have no clue why this thing will not, uh, will not turn on, though. Can I... You must power this component. I'm telling you guys, what's going on here? I, I, I swear, something... It's, it says it's not powered. You know what? I wonder if I gotta go from the bank to the turret. Maybe that's what's messing with it? I don't... I don't know. It just says it doesn't have the power. I mean, these things only use like 20... It's probably all the fences, maybe, that are like... I don't know. Those don't seem to be pro powered properly either. We gotta figure out some electricity as we move on, but for now... All we gotta do is bask in the glory, in the beauty. I mean, it's not a power issue, though. We got more than enough power in- Like, I know we don't have enough power from the solar banks, don't get me wrong. We definitely got enough power from the batteries, which is what I'm confuzzled about. And of course, why- I'm also confuzzled about why these dinguses keep running after me. Look at this dog. This poor dog. Oh no, he's smarter than that. He's running over there! I think he's trying to run away. Oh no, he's doing like, he's drifting into the spikes. He's, he's going out in style. He's just trying to take out as much as he can before it's too late. But it seems from me standing up here that they're, uh, they walk over here more. So that's good. We can diversify where they're going after our traps. Why am I so hungry? I just devoured a feast of ham. God, my dude, man, he's hungrier than I am, IRO. Funny thing is, though, sometimes I'm too lazy to feed myself. IRL. That's right. I'll just be sitting on. I'll be sitting here, just like I'm hungry, but I gotta record a video, and I'm just like, but I gotta walk downstairs to get some fud, and that's where it's like, yeah, I I don't think so. I don't think so. And that is when the waiting game begins. Of when will Star go downstairs? I'm not saying this like I have a massive place. Like at college, I might even do a room tour for 500k. Let's try and hit that soon, baby. But, uh, I, I'm not saying this like, oh yeah, I live in a three-story mansion. Like, nah, it's, uh, it's pretty small. Pretty, uh, humble. I, I could say that dude is chasing his own tail. All right, we got dogs out here coming after me better than this guy. This guy's acting like a dog. Literally, I think he might have swapped minds with those other dudes and whoop. There you go. Let's get a couple bullets in on him and, and his, uh, pain and suffering. Nothing like a little bit of a head explosion to do exactly that. Let's loot up the zombie remains while we can too. See what those guys have in store for us and then... Wow, dude, these zombies can't... None of these... Uh, thank you for the beer. I at least deserve... Ooh. The loot gets a little bit better the more that we loot. Uh, we also got to destroy all of these bodies at some point because that's just going to be annoying because I think... Oh, hello. That's pretty nice. I think these bodies do draw more zombies towards us, but like not not horde zombies. I mean, just like, you know, it, it could bring screamers to us. We've yet to encounter a screamer. What a screamer is, is it's kind of this type of zombie that will show up if you're causing too much commotion, whether that be through smelting too much stuff or maybe, uh, I don't know, too many fires going, too many gunshots, too many of these bodies. That'll bring the attention of the screamer. When the screamer pops up, if he sees you, he, she screams. When he, she screams, uh, that's when things, uh, when the entire horde follows. It's kind of like a scout unit for the horde, you know? Kind of cool in that sense. So we just got to make sure to murder it probably with like a sniper or some before that time comes. But uh, speaking of the time coming, the time has come for, by the looks of it, the horde to be over. Like, I don't know about you guys. This horde's looking pretty, uh, pretty kaput. Ooh. We do have some pretty nifty stuff. I'll eat some beans here. I am pretty hungry. You're not beans. Peas. Not to be confused with beans, although they, they are both small and circular-ish. Maybe. One could say they are definitely different things. I will also devour some cat food. I'm surprised my stomach does not grumble and I do not fart when I eat cat food. Isn't there certain foods you can eat in seven days where, like, your dude will literally fart or something? Like, your stomach will just rumble like a madman? I don't know. Right now, all I want like a madman is some great loot from the mass murder we just committed upon these dudes. Sorry, man. Wrong place, wrong time. That's your own fault. Why don't we scrap those, pick up some brace. Um, that wall's looking pretty clean. 
I mean, we've pretty much looted everything here. I don't think. Yeah, we've, we've got all these guys. Let's start getting the bodies by here. Maybe turn off those things before we accidentally murder ourselves. You know, that's always the worst when you accidentally murder yourself. Like, even in real life, just like, ah, there it goes. What, what an awful accident. Oh, no, we're getting thirsty again. Uh, lucky for us, we got some. Woo! Oh, Jesus, dude. Why does that empty can sound so much louder than an empty can should sound? Last time I accidentally, you know, last time I had a soda can and it like slipped out of my hand or something, even if that thing's freaking full, it's not making that type of noise when it hits the ground. It's making a dinky little noise. That sounded like a freaking wrecking ball being dropped and hitting the earth at a high velocity. So, I don't know, seven days. You might want to fix your, uh, your sound there. Now then, as we continue trying to not literally murder ourselves. I don't know what was going on here with the electricity. Like, we we got these things working at the end of the day. That's all we need. Let's just hope I don't, like, accidentally electrocute myself. I, I don't think I will. I think the accidental electrocutions are pretty good. Accidentally. Ooh, Jennifer, 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 my girl. Thank you for the double treasure map to whomever finds this moat. Friend, the end is near. The monsters are breaking down my door. In the final moments, I can only think of how I want to be remembered. Not as a coward, but as someone who thinks of others. I leave you this map to one of my many secret buried chests. God bless you, Jennifer. Well, Jennifer, thanks for leaving me two maps, number one. And number two, I think that the zombie that attacked us could have been Jennifer. Well, if I could give you a proper burial, I would, Jennifer. But unfortunately, you're already, like, a bunch of mushy zombie remains. So, I hope you understand... That, like, I'm not trying to touch that. Like, ew, icky. <gasps> oh, we already have that. I thought that'd be, like, a good book for a second. Uh, I mean, I could toss the three tokens, pick up the compound bow instead. And, I mean, of course, there's going to be a couple more bodies we got to pick up. But we're going to have to pick those up. Dude, are these posts not working? Did I never hook them up? I I don't know what I did and what I didn't. We, we had to have done something, right? Maybe the switch just, like, doesn't power enough things? I don't know. Let's turn it off, though. We don't need that on. We don't have to keep blowing through. Okay, so that makes sense. Maybe it's because the one car battery died out. Maybe. That's what I hate, too. It drains from the car batteries. Uh, which, actually, if I think about it, this might be good. Because I think it drains from it in this order, right? So the good news about that... Yeah, dude, even... Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, our max output was going down because we lost some electricity on the car battery. But, uh, so hopefully that'll recharge during the daytime. We do need to turn that on, but we'll just leave the switch off. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it drains power from the first slot. So what this should do is let us charge these back ones while using the power from the front ones. It might not be the greatest way of handling it, but it's a way that I'm pretty sure will work. And then hopefully we can figure out electricity woes and get some more generator banks and just things like that. But for now... Let's get out of hiding and let's get into looting everyone's favorite time. At, at least it's my favorite time. I don't know about you guys. So far, though, meh. Very meh. Anything good here? Any zombie remains that I missed? No, uh, there might be a couple out here. I know we killed a couple of bigger zombies, too. I, ooh, a lot of mechanical parts. I appreciate that. But other than that... We're looking pretty good. And I love having this rebar frame here because the zombies are not smart enough for the advanced parkour techniques of me. AKA that very advanced jump right here. So advanced. I, I, I could only master this after 20 years of seven days to die parkour training on custom seven days to die parkour maps. Y'all remember that back in the Minecraft days? Dude, I remember years ago, custom parkour maps on Minecraft. Mm, played the hell out of those, man. Those were so dope and I got so good at parkour. And then you start to be able to freaking sprint in Minecraft and the parkour game was never the same. Just game changing stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the fact that, uh, well, we're pretty safe here and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna risk walking through that door because I am kind of scared for my life. Uh, we should probably start clearing these dudes out. Luckily for us, the shovel does one hit the zombie remains. So don't mind me just cleaning up the mess that the zombies left me and holy hell. Was this like a cop zombie or something? This had a hell of room on him. Grain alcohol, eh. I'll let it be. No eviscerated remains. No, bad. What the hell? Okay, fine. 
Goodbye. There we go. So I'm pretty sure that happens too. Uh, the remains stay there if they aren't empty. So we meant you to know, drag a couple things out. I mean, hopefully that's not too big of a deal, but hi diggity dog. We fared a lot better than I thought we would. Like, not gonna lie, we lost a lot of traps. And I really do mean we lost a lot of traps. Not the, not these. Do these lose durability? Oh dear God, I hope not. Hold on, is there a way to repair? Can I see really quickly? Is that a... Oh yeah, it lets me know their health. So, 1940. That one doesn't look too hurt. Yeah, so we should be able to detect them from here. So, they, they took a little bit of damage. Nothing that some, you know, iron ingots or... Uh, <laughs> iron ingots, dude. I'm thinking in different game terms. Uh, whatchamacall? Some steel and some... Uh, uh, it's no forged iron. That's what it is. I, it's in like an ingot like shape. Okay, cut me some slack. I think uh, Nothing I don't know not not too bad in terms of damages We could take this opportunity to actually uh, use our pretty big stockpile of wood and some of the iron We got lying around to start doing these uh, upgrades and even like these repairs and even upgrades on a couple of these guys. I mean, might as well while we're doing circles around the place. I'm, I want to get all of these up to level three, if possible. That's the goal. I think I may have, yeah, level three is pretty nice. We could go level four like that, but that starts costing like way more iron per. We do have an okay amount of iron, so if we get more, I'll definitely consider it. But for now, just trying to play things a little bit on the safe side. Just like I'm hoping we don't get like jumped by zombies here in the waning minutes of what we got. Uh, hopefully we don't accidentally destroy these spike. Okay, exactly what I was trying not to do. Accidentally destroy these spike traps, but uh, made necessary evils. So now we just gotta clean this place up and make it presentable. Because hey, listen, it might be a zombie apocalypse. I'm still worried. I invested in this home, all right? And the property values? Let me just say, if you ever find dead bodies outside of your property, the value will most likely go down. I imagine it's quite the same with zombies. Actually, if you found a zombie outside of your property, that value might go up. Because some crazy scientist would probably be like, I will give you one billion dollars and then I will totally not create a zombie apocalypse from the bodies. And I'd be like, uh, yeah, whatever you say, dude, just give me, just give me the billion there. You know, because I, I won't take him serious. It's a crazy guy giving me a billion dollars. And he makes a zombie army. But I'm like, I got a billion dollars. So everyone who's ever subscribed to me, I will keep safe with my billion dollars and a private military. And, uh, and what else would I have? Something really awesome. Uh, uh new iPhones for all. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> that's how you, that's how I win you guys over. It's the free iPhones. Well, no, it's the fact that, well, I happen to be an expert zombie survivalist in all the survival games that we play of the zombie variety. So I imagine I'd fare pretty well in, uh, in a zombie apocalypse. Like, listen, I, I already know I'm rushing the nearest Costco. I'm taking that place over and, uh, turning it into a super cool hangout place. And hopefully all the other dudes who would totally be chill near me and not try to take over my Costco would understand that I am simply making a better place of Costco. Yeah, the wooden spikes definitely took a toll, but nothing we shouldn't be able to fix on up. Dang it! Repaired that too much. I forget. We gotta wait for like two upgrade noises, because I, I hear like the repair noises and they throw me off, you know? But right now this should be good. The claw hammer is perfect because it lets us one hit repair this stuff and just uh, hold on. Is that that's that? There we go. You gotta look at the tip. Just the tip, boys. You gotta look at the tip and if the tip is all metallic, Ooh, the rhymes there. Metallic tip. Kind of. I don't know. They both have an eye in them, so pretty advanced rhyming scheme, I know. But, I don't know. We definitely had enough to repair a good amount of these. I'm just- hold on. Can we repair- No, not yet! What the hell? Oh my god. Well, there goes the 10 forged steel I had in my inventory! In exchange for one very armored block. I hope the zombies end up attacking that block and just- I foil their dastardly plans. Oh, more good news though. We might want to go on a little bit of a shopping spree to celebrate the fact that we just survived this because uh, we can also repair these spikes. I'll make sure to do that. What the hell? It takes 15. How, doesn't it take like 20 wood to craft up brand new ones? Yeah, it takes 20. It takes 15 to repair the broken ones. Like, I don't know if that's a good deal, man. We might be getting scammeronied. I don't know how to feel about a potential scam, but let's just keep repairing a little bit. Then we'll take whatever funds we got left and go on a little bit of a shopping spree to at least the closest place. Now, you also got to keep in mind here, 
that the place isn't open yet so we kind of have to find something to do here for uh, the next couple of uh, I was about to say days not days hey bad no you're late to the party dude they already left okay they're all in zombie heaven because I totally sent them there yeah, told, I'm, I'm a benevolent ruler. Like, get out of my wooden spike, my friend. Oh, my God. You are just an awful. Let's try and repair that. God, why is it so difficult with you, baby? Eh, it's okay. We can continue our repairs here. And these, we don't have to really fix the spikes because no zombies decided to attack me where our defenses were weakest. <laughs> they decided to attack me where my defenses were strongest, a.k.a. the blade traps, the turret that wasn't working, that will hopefully work next time, and, uh... Yeah, the electrical fence posts that also weren't working. And a buttload of our wooden traps, dude. I'm just saying the front, that's where we like triple layered that stuff. Here, I kind of just have like one layer of spikes on everything. But over there, that was a that was a different monster, my friend. How are we looking? Still got a good amount of wood. I think we ought to be able to get out of here, grass. I think we ought to be able to finish this up and get a good amount of construction levels from it as well. But this is also good to just have some base defenses in general because, you know, sometimes we'll get that random wandering whore that just decides to poop on your day. Like that one time where they broke into my base because all we had was two high walls and some things that I kind of didn't place in the best fashion. Uh, yeah, we got to figure out how to hail these things work because they definitely is not working the best because look at that. I didn't even electrocute myself. All right. I'm a certified dude who electrocutes himself. All right. I got a master's degree in the subject. Oh, speaking of that, where the hell's our treasure? Is it that far away? Oh, it's in the hills. Dude, something about this. We found another like an airdrop there, treasure there, dude, middle of nowhere. It's a good place. Definitely a good place, but all right, let, let's head on back and then through through some triumphant freaking victory, boys. Let's drop off some of these goodies. Let's grab some of the goodies known as money, 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 money. Ooh, you know what else we should do now that I think about it? Uh, hey, I'm going to also bring some things to sell, but we got a pretty nice car battery here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this stuff has got to regenerate, by the way. Is, is it sunny out? You're telling me it's not sunny out. I could agree with that sentiment. The sun definitely isn't up as high as it could be. Hopefully at 6 a.m. it starts happening. But uh, what I want to do here, swap this out with an even better battery. Look at that max output go up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, now then, some more things I want to see is putting away some of these things. I'm only going to keep the things that I either want to sell or I just kind of want to keep on me for the purpose of they're not bad. This thing's actually good because our chainsaw broke last time and I would have killed to have a backup fire axe. Uh, but we can put the pine seeds away. Like I said, hopefully start our firming business. Uh, we have a lead car battery here that we can kind of store. Hold on, that we can store. Uh, also, what is the last piece of the puzzle for our magnum that we need? It, okay, it's, it's, it's the cylinder thingy. All right, well, I'll try and make that magic happen. In the meantime, we don't really need to empty up our inventory all the way. Just like a good amount should do. So I'll go ahead and do that. I do want to keep the treasure map on me, though, because I'm probably going to go over there, dig that treasure up, and then dig up another... Ooh. I'm tempted to dig up the treasure first. We could make some nice, nice moolah off that. Definitely selling a hunting rifle. Another receiver. Another long barrel. Let's definitely bring some goods to sell with us, ladies and gentlemen. Any, any really good goods? Uh, so, hey, <laughs> good, good. Dude, whenever I just accidentally say a word twice in a row in a totally correct fashion, makes me giggle. What can I say? <laughs> All right. Anything else? I, I'm keeping that hoe, dude. That is a golden hoe. Well, actually, it's a purple hoe, but that is a hoe that I freaking love. That thing is going to bring us some magic. Uh, we really don't have a lot in terms of money, though. I forgot that we kind of went for broke and broke went for us and we lived happily ever after <laughs> no i forgot that we really like sold off a lot of our stuff and we don't have a huge amount of valuables so let's definitely pick out some things that could be considered valuable by oneself and make sure to sell them like this mining helmet we got a better one on us right now so we could definitely sell that for some nifty profit it's a really nice AK receiver. Yeah, we don't need an AK receiver to hell with it. We already have an amazing AK receiver on our own thing. We have a pretty nice pistol here we could sell. I'm down. I will. Sorry, corn. You'll need to wait at home without me. I, I apologize. I, I would have loved to take you on this adventure, but it was, it was too dangerous. No corn should be forced to see the things we're about to see. 
aka Trader Joel, because that dude is a douche nozzle if I've ever seen one. Are you on, by the way? Are you, are you good? Oh, what the hell? Oh, well, that's a shocking revelation. Who some dingus seem to have uh, disconnected this. Let's 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 fix that right up. There we go. Oh, so by hooking up the shotgun turret, I kind of totally messed everything up. Well, there we go. Okay, hopefully that's on now. Then maybe that explains why things were being derpy. Okay, it says that thing's powered, man. I just don't understand. Did I do something? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to finick about it. Are you on now? Okay, it's outputting 20 watts. And that stuff is slowly charging. So, okay, that's good. Dude, that's awesome, too, that solar cells are just a great way of being able to, like, regenerate. Whatchamacall? Being able to regenerate your lead car batteries. I don't know, man. Until I, like, really start diving into this electrical stuff with Alpha 7... Or, is, are we in 17 or Alpha 16? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's been nothing but awesome sauce. So speaking of the sauce of the awesome variety. I can make a quick pit stop over here, see if we got any leftover valuables. Probably not. We got the leftover construction site. Uh, but I don't think we really have anything too great in here. I mean, unless this man like potato. I have potato for comrade. If you like potato, talk to me. I'm your guy. And you know what we could do? Definitely pick up some more agua while we got the room. Put away to plant fibres. Pick up, uh, not the fibers, I was gonna say the compound bowstring. We can sell that for a little bit of profit. And other than that, uh, yeah, we're kind of gone for broke in a sense. Uh, we do have a lot of wood, though, which is very good because wood's exactly what we need to have some fun with certain things, like uh, all the steel that we made here. Oh, that's a lot of steel. Let's just move this crucible out of the way for one moment. Move that puppy right there. Give me some forged steel. I'll t yeah, there we go. Six minutes worth of forged steel. Bada bing, bada boom, you caught me at, uh, six. Or steel. No, let's be honest, you probably caught me at steel. Uh, let's take that ammo back. Let's go and make ourselves a successful sale and see what our friend has to offer on this 22nd day. And on the 22nd day of seven days to die, Papa Star gave to me a base with electricity dude we might have to we might have to make a holiday jingle at this rate all right right off the top of my head already have the headlining act right there on the 23rd second day of the seven days to die my trader gave to me something that hopefully isn't too poopy please can you come through mr trader and not degrade me with the name calling that you also love to do. Oh, let me guess, you need to buy something. Okay, well, there will be degradation, but hopefully it will be worth it, because he tends to have cool stuff. <gasps> we gotta make some money, 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 boys, because we are gonna make something freaking awesome here. I really hope I didn't accidentally sell something I wasn't supposed to, because that's definitely something that I would do. Do you like pistols? Boom! Got a pistol for you. Compound bow reading. Boom! Do I have some literature with your name on it? A hunting rifle receipt. Oh, really? Compound bow string, though? Okay, he's a fan of that. Spike club to hell with it. I need money. I got better melee weapons. I got my summon on a stick. Yeah. This magnum cylinder, though. Oh, next episode is going to be a fun one. Although we definitely kind of have to find uh, ammo, too. Don't have any of that at the moment. Or we could just craft some. Ooh, a new solar cell. I like what I see. I don't like the fact that I can't afford it. Mm. Well, oh, another one. Two solar mm. Guys and gals, I think, ooh, another solar bank too. If we ever run out of solar cell, ah, there's a lot of things I want to invest in right now, boys, but we don't have the money to do it. Oh, AKA, damn, you know what we gotta shut up, shut up. No, be quiet. Yeah, AKA, y'all know what we gotta do. We wanna continue expanding. We gotta go and do a little bit of treasure hunting. And as soon as we're done treasure hunting, we gotta do some more treasure hunting with the second treasure map that we found. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that next time. But other than that, not a greater time to end off. Dear God, I have no gas left in this thing. Maybe we should make our way back home first because I don't wanna run out of gas because that is annoying and is it just me or does this feel slower than usual did uh hold on did something happen here 
Did you start like wearing down here, buddy? What's uh, what's what's with the quality? It seems slow. Come on, you, you got this, man. Is it because there's not a lot of... I don't know, maybe I've been spoiled by how fast it really is, but regardless, that's a great point for us to go ahead and end this episode off on. Thank you guys for joining me through 21 days, through three days, seven hordes, and through what has been an awesome series to do so far. Sorry, this one's going to be a bit on the later side. Uh, I'm starting school back up, so things are a little bit hard trying to get back into the groove of things, figure out when I have time to record in between classes, all that jazz. But uh, I hope y'all understand, and I hope y'all continue to enjoy this series because we got some awesome stuff coming within the next seven days. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys, old time for watching. It was a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.